Okay, lesson 4.3. We're going to go complex factoring. Okay, so complex factoring is when it leads with a non 1x squared. So for example, 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 equals 0. Okay, so I'm going to show you three examples today and I'm going to show you three different ways of doing them. Okay, so for this example, I am noticing that 3 has factors of 1 and 3, and 2 has factors of 1 and 2. So because this situation does not have very many options, I'm going to use the guess and check method. Okay, so I'm going to start with 2 brackets equals 0. Now, I know that the first and first have to multiply to 3x squared. And I looked at my options and I only have 1x squared times 3x squared are my only options. Then I looked into my last spots. They have to multiply to a negative 2. So my only options are 1 and 2. So where do I put the 1? Do I put the 1 here and the 2 here? So if I did that, let's say if I put the 1 here, that would make 1x squared. And if I put the 2 here, that would be 6x squared. I'm thinking I could get a 5 out of that. If you did the opposite way, if you put the 2 here and the 1 there, that also might work. So let's see what works better. So if I put the 2 there, that would be 2x squared. And if I put the 1 there, that would make 3x squared, and that would also be a combination that could give me 5x squared. So let's see how this could work. I know I need one of them to be negative, and I know I need a positive 5 when it's done. So in order to get a positive 5 with this combination, they would both have to be positive, so that's out. So this one is the one I need to do. I need the 6. So there's my 6x, oops, sorry, I'm noticing a mistake I made here. I don't want x squared there, guys. I want just x's. There's my 6x, and here is my 1x. So in the foiling system, my outsides make 1x, and my insides make 6x. So positive 6x minus 1x. Okay? I'm going to write this out because now it looks very messy. Okay, so there's my factors. Check my foiling. This times this is 3x squared. Subtract 1x plus 6x. So now that's 5x and then minus 2. So my solutions are x could be negative 2. And this one looks a little trickier. So here's what happens. I'm going to do this the long way. 3x minus 1 has to equal 0. So you're going to algebraically add 1 and then divide by 3. So x is 1 third. So the trick is to take the opposite of this, divide by that. Okay, example 2. Okay, we have 10x squared. minus 9x minus 9 equals 0. Okay, so we're going to list some combinations of multiples of 10 under here. 1, 10, 2, and 5. And we're going to list combinations of multiples here. 1, 9, 3, and 3. Okay, so now we're going to take the front and the back number, multiply them. So that is negative 90. We're going to think about multiples of 90. So 1 times 90, 245, 330. We're trying to get a combination that will give us the middle number. So let's keep going. It's not divisible by 4, 5 and 18, 6 and 15. There we go. 
we need to get a negative 9 out of this. So that's my combination. Okay, so I need to find a combination that will get me a 6 and a 15. So here I found it. If I do that set, that's my 6 and that's my 15. Okay? You can't mix and match, you can't use a 2 and a 10. You have to stay with this same group and the same group here. Okay? So now, when I start, I know that this is a 2x and a 5x, because the first has to get me 10x squared. Now I circled this and circled this so that the outsides are together. So that's my 6 and I want that to be positive. Then I put squares around these because I knew that made my 15, so the 5 and the 3 go together, and that needs to be negative to get me my negative 15. So do you see this? First make 10x squared, then my outside and insides combine for negative 9, right? So there's your 6 minus 15, and your last needs to be negative 9. So your solutions are, remember, opposite, divide. So positive 3 halves and negative 3 fifths. Okay, I'm going to show you example 3 in another way. So you can pick. Okay, 18x squared plus 9x minus 20 equals 0. We're going to take this times that, so negative 360. Okay, let's get some combinations that make me 9. Uh, I'm going to start with 10 times 36. One of them is negative because of the negative. So... 26 is the most I can get. Does not divide by 11. 12 times 30. Nope, that would be 18. The next it would be is 15 times 24. That could get me a 9. Negative, positive. Okay, so now, in this method, all I'm going to do is rewrite that 9x as those two, so minus 15x plus 24x. So do you see, I just rewrote 9x in a different way, breaking it down. So in this, in this one, you group the two and you take out what is common between these two. So the largest number I could divide them by is 3, and I could divide both by an x. So if you divide this by 3x, you have a 6x left. If you divide that by 3x, you have a minus 5. Take the second group. What is the most you could divide out of both of those terms? That should be 4, and it's a positive 4 we're going to take out. So if you divide by a 4, you get 6x. If you divide by a 4, you get minus 5. So in this process, what you get inside there needs to be the same. So that is one of your factors. And your other factor is your your GCFs that you took out. So 3x plus 4. So what are your solutions? Opposite division. So 5 6 negative 4 thirds. Okay, three methods, um, you can see which one you like the best.